What's going on? It's Kev Obato, and this is the top three Botticera and Retro Bat themes of 2025. But you know me. Let's not waste any time, and let's get right into the video. All right, so coming up in third place, we're going to start with what I am going to call Cow Book. <laughs> Now, Cowbook has two different versions. You have the version that you can get from the updates and download section, but you also have the version that comes with the RGS script. So the Pixin version of Cowbook. Now, if you know how to pronounce this, let me know in the comments section below. But anyways, we're going to show off this theme. Now, this is a super simple theme, but the reason I like it so much is because for one, it's nice. It's it's to the point. But for two, it checks off a lot of the criteria that we look for in theme reviews. Now, one of the things that I'll say is throughout this video, you'll hear me mentioning the fact that it has all of the collections. Like you see the two player arcade light gun, all this stuff. Some themes won't have these collections themed out. It'll just be a generic icon. And then for example, Techno Parrot. And we've got Nintendo Switch. It's one of the things that we look for. Some themes still don't have it. But then we get into more stuff like Chi Chihiro? Chihiro? <laughs> don't get me to lying. But we have stuff like this that a lot of themes will not have an icon for. So it'll just be a generic icon. So you'll hear me mention that a lot throughout this video, but just because that's some of the criteria when you're building out a full system like this, you want all of your icons to be themed. Now, as you can see, this one has PS4, something we look for. It's even got the joke PS5 system that Retrobat put in there. And so, I mean, there's just, there's nothing that it doesn't have. So again, this, so this is the Pixum version of the cow book. If you don't have the RGS script, then you can go into updates and downloads and we can scroll down and there it is there. So cow book is going to be number three on the list. It's really calm. To be honest with you, I like, you know, really impressive, vibrant, crazy themes, but this one goes into third place just because it has all of the collections and another criteria we look for is video it has video so it checks off all the boxes it's just a little plain so that's why i'm leaving it in third place let's go ahead and move on to my top two bodicera and retro bat theme all right next up and i hate to do it it's art flicks it hurts my heart but there's a new hot thing on the town but we'll get to that this is the top two Botticera and Retrobat themes, and it is Art Flicks by Alec Full. Now, the reason it has to take number two is because there are a couple collections it doesn't have. Now, you see it does have the Chi Chihiro. It does have the Chihiro, but it doesn't have, and I know it may seem like a joke now, but it doesn't have the PS5 collection, which I understand you're probably thinking, come on, dude, really? But it doesn't have it. The other one does. The, the one in third place has it, and the one in first place has it. Um, and then if I'm correct, I think this is the wheel games icon missing. So, and as you can see, it has the same, what do we got, two 3DOs here? So it's just, it's another reason it has to go into second place this time. It does have Techno Parrot, that's good. And of course, if it has video. So Art Flicks by Alec Full or Art Flicks Cobalt. I mean, these are two amazing themes and that dude he's this will always go down as one of the best Botticera themes but without further ado we're going to get into the number one for my personal favorite Botticera and Retrobat theme and in number one is Hyperbat by Bob Moraine and like I said this is the hot new thing on the town and it's just it's, it provides something a little extra. It's just for people who like extra uh, or just vibrant, explosive, awesome animations, customization. We'll get into that in a second. But Hyperbat is by far my favorite Botticera and Retrobat theme. Like there's no contest right now. Hyperbat comes with the theme editor. There's so many options and so much stuff going on here. I mean, just check out, we'll go to theme configuration. Look at all these options. Look at all these options. 
Look at it. There's so many options. And some people might not be interested in that. Some people might not be modding their Botticera builds in a way to where they need Techno Pair icon, to where they need all of these extra icons, PS4, PS5. But as the number one theme, it's got it all. Chihiro, of course, it's got everything. And this is on an RGS build. So it's, it, it has everything. It has everything. And I, I can't say it enough that this is really just, I mean, this is the ultimate theme, especially if you're into customization, because then finally we're getting close to the end of the video. We're going to go in and I'm going to flex some of the stuff that I've been doing. First of all, I created this theme, what you're seeing on the screen right now and everything I'm about to show you inside of the NDS folder. Um, I decided I wanted to help out and add themes because you can add game per game themes per game themes for every single game. So I'm working on the Nintendo DS collection. Why did I choose that? I have no idea, but that's where we're at. And if you look, most of these, some of them don't, but most of these are gonna have different themes that I made. Like look at the animations. And I made all this using the theme editor that you can get from the Hyperbat team. It's just, <laughs> it's like, they're leading you to the water and they're forcing you to drink. They're not, they're, it's amazing. It's amazing. But yeah, I, I'm just yapping right now because I want to show off some of these themes. And I've done like two or three or maybe even 400 of these. We can just scroll down. And as you can see, it's just back to back to back. So many different themes that I've made for the Nintendo DS collection with the Hyperbat theme editor and with the Hyperbat bodice era and Retrobat theme. That's gonna wrap up today's video. If you like what you saw, give the video a like. If you really like what you saw, subscribe, come on. Now this is the end of the video. I want to shout out Steven here. This is the first member of the channel, paid member. Now, I don't know how memberships work. I didn't even know I had it turned on. You can watch all of my videos. I never once mentioned anything about anyone joining the membership. And I want everyone to know that I do not want your money. But if you have like just tons of extra money or, you know, you're willing to support me, that's awesome. So. I just want to shout out Steven because he's the first member and I don't even know how he knew I had memberships enabled. All right. All right. I'll catch you in the next video.